How the Beltway Swap Really Works, a newly released book. It's titled Secret Empires, How Our Politicians Hide Corruption and Enrich Their Families and Friends. And it's going to make you mad. It chronicles a new era of Washington fraud, detailing how millions of your tax dollars were poured into the extended families of politicians. And get this, while they were helping our international competitors, folks like the Chinese, pull America's factories, capital, and our own secrets away from our own shores. Here now is Peter Schweizer, the author of Secret Empires. Peter, great to see you. Uh, number you. three on Amazon. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's first talk about a Chinese company, because yeah. this really... I mean, it's bad enough when American companies uh, have their hooks in our politicians, but when it's a Chinese company, there's a company called Wanchong. Yes. Uh, they are they're supposed to be a private company, but they're not. Right. Uh, they're really connected. And there's A123. Now, this is a company you might remember. It's a battery-making company based in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Uh, they were getting a lot of money, over $200, uh, $200 million from right. the Obama green policies. And the Wachong company, this Chinese company, wanted to buy A123. Take it away from there. That's right. Wanchong is this company. It's, it's got deep political ties with the Chinese state. A123 is not doing well. There are American companies that want to buy this battery company because they've got advanced technologies. Wanchong wants it because they want to take the technology back to China. Lots of red flags. Well, Wanchong plays it smart. They forge a, a uh, consulting arrangement with George W. Brush, uh, w. Bush's uncle, uh, with a former mayor of Chicago. Mr. Daly is on the payroll. And they essentially grease the skids in the Obama administration so they are able to apply and get this technology and bring it back to and China. Just to remind the, the viewers out there, if you remember uh, the, the Solyndra disaster, A123 was kind of like that because... Uh, they had a lot of problems. They got over $200 million, as That's I right. said. But also this Chinese company right. was getting our tax dollars. That's How right. did that work? That's right. And, and that's precisely what happened. And, th and this is the problem. It illustrates the problem, David, is that they juice in with political people in Washington, D.C., of both political parties oftentimes, and they use it to grease the skid. So A123, which had this un unique technology that was funded in part by taxpayer dollars, uh, ends up being sold to the Chinese. The deal gets approved. Joe Biden Biden is somebody who advocates on this behalf, mm -hmm. and there's an interesting question there because his son Hunter was actually a creditor for A123. Aye, aye, aye. So, so there's these interesting commercial ties, and it shows sort of the corrupting influence. And, and, and at the bottom line is the, chi the deal went through, even though a group of bipartisan senators tried to stop it, tried right. to stop CFIUS. We remember them from the Uranium One deal. Right. Uh, but they they eventually went along with it. Uh, and both the capital that, that our tax dollars right. went into it, some of the tech yes. information, our, our precious yeah. information, our tech secrets went to the Chinese, and some of the factories went to the That's Chinese. That's exactly well. right. The agreement that they struck when they bought the company was, we're going to keep the manufacturing in the United States. Well, that didn't go too well. They, they actually closed or reduced the size of factories in places like Michigan, moved it back to China. So there are, there's advanced technology in, in China today that was paid for by U.S. taxpayers. There are factories that were shut down here, and they are now, with A123, going to be competing with Tesla. We all know about <laughs> Tesla. They are now taking Fisker, which was another company that right. went bankrupt here that Al Gore was tied in with, they are now, it's now a Chinese company. So they not only got A123, but Fisker, in which a lot of our money went. That's exactly hundreds right. Hundreds of millions of dollars, as I remember. They also got Fisker. That's right. They and got all of the secrets that went along with that company. All right, very quickly, you mentioned briefly that there was a connection not only with the politicians and this company, but with the family of the politicians. That's something that happens a lot in D.C., and we just, we could have picked out somebody from any party yeah. because it happens on both sides but senator dick durbin right he has a wife who is a lobbyist right. he has a son who is a lobbyist he has a nephew who is a lobbyist and all three of these people benefit from legislation that he has been working on correct that's, that's exactly right and this is a huge so problem. he's making his entire family rich that's by right. voting or creating legislation that's right and these are individuals oftentimes family members they're they're really not experienced lobbyists they become lobbyists because they are related to powerful politicians i call them the princelings of k street <laughs> you know we talk about china and the princelings the the children of communist party bosses who get juiced into deals well guess what we have american princelings and on Capitol Hill, there was a study done that said one-third of the U.S. Senate 
that's about 33, that have at least one immediate family member of a senator who is a registered lobbyist. And that, David, does not include, wow. that does not include those people who are working in government relations but are not registered as lobbyists. So it's a, a massive, massive problem. By the way, the last time you and I talked, we were trying to get this legislation through that would prevent insider trading by, by politicians. People like Nancy Pelosi's family, et cetera, yeah. benefited from doing some of this. Any luck there at all? Well, we passed the Stock Act, yeah. but here's the problem. A lot of people said it was watered down. Or... <laughs> it was watered down. It was passed because everybody was upset. Six months later, bipartisanship, Democrats, Republican, the Obama White House, basically gutted the bill. So who said bipartisanship is dead in Washington? When you take <laughs> away a perk, when you take away a perk or a self-enrichment tool that both parties like, they can suddenly come together. So they come amazing... together. When you're trying yes. to drain the swamp, they right. come together like magic. But the name of the book is Secret Empires, and it's not so secret anymore, thanks to the great work you do, Peter. Thank you, Congratulations. David. Number three, uh, hopefully it'll be number one soon. Well, thank you, David. I appreciate it very much. Appreciate you coming on. Peter Schweizer.